Okay, so, absolutely amazing day. Bump start the cub. So, we're out here. Um, weather is even better than yesterday, which is pretty unreal, I think. They look fucking weird. So yeah, I hope none of them are subscribers. If, if you are, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, the weather is absolutely unreal. Like it's even better than it was yesterday. Uh, the tide's unreal. Like it's so far out. And I'm just heading to... I don't know what it's called, to be honest. Uh, I went up there the other day with Daryl. Um, we literally just found it out of wandering around the lanes. And it was really cool. There's like a little walk involved with it. And it was like a really nice out of the, out of the way area. Um, so I'm heading up there. It's a little bit of a ride. Uh, of course going to the shops on the way home. So yeah, like I said, I'm heading up there. Uh, there's some pretty amazing views up there too, so I'll be able to get some of that for you guys, although it is a GoPro, so don't get your hopes up too much. Bike is running amazingly. No faults, no problems with it so far. Uh, the only thing that isn't very nice is the throttle cable. It's really hard to pull. I've greased it, I've oiled it, I've done everything, but that Eva is fucking gorgeous. And he's got a Sundance Yellow 106 GTI in there. Wow. Um. God, oh, that's fucking made me forget what I was saying. Oh yeah, the throttle cable. Basically, right down on the end, it's bent quite severely, so it's just rubbing against itself so I've ordered a new throttle cable and a new um, throttle in fact just a, like a sleek black designed one for a pit bike or whatever but it looked all right and it come with a throttle cable and it is cheap as that it was just under a tenner for both and the cable was like eight pounds on its own so and for once the postage says that it would be here in under a month so, when you order these Chinese pit bike parts, they normally take at least two to three months to turn up if they're coming from China. So, which probably isn't the best place to be getting anything from at the minute, but I will sterilise it. Um, so yeah, those of you that know me personally know that, um, I think I said in my last video actually, uh, my Integra, we got DC2 Integra, um, that's pending collection this Saturday. Should be able to get a cool view for you guys just up here on this corner. Uh, pending collection Saturday. Something I'm not exactly very happy about. I don't want to sell it. Um, see if I can get... <sighs> no, you can't really see it. Um, the tide's too far out and there's trees and it's not worth the fucking hassle to get over there um, so yeah like I was saying those of you that know me pending collection on the Integra which I did not want to sell um, so now I am basically trying to decide what the next car is going to be um, there's two or three, three or, three or four different cards on the table, we'll say. Um, uh, and they are, so number one would be an R33 GTST Skyline. Um, pros and cons, insurance will be quite high, but it's got a good engine and a good chassis and running gear or whatever. 
The rival to that is an S14, but the kooky back. Um, pros and cons, the engine isn't as good as the Skyline, nor is the running gear or the chassis, but the insurance is considerably cheaper. The third option is to get another Glanzer, but it would have to be pretty special, I think, for me to have to get another one of them. Uh, it'd have to be quite a quick one. Uh, there's no way I'd be putting that sort of money in it to make it go like it did last time. Um, I'd buy it already done. And then make it my own from there. And the last option would be an Evo. Uh, so many different ones. Wouldn't know which one. I'd have to do loads of research. But once again, I think insurance would be quite high there's loads that go wrong on them and when they do go wrong they are quite a bit of money so that's what I'm thinking uh, honestly it's steering towards another Glanzer or the S14 more so the S14 uh, obviously it's rear wheel drive it will skid I don't want to ruin it But at the same time, like I'm going to get it to learn how to, well, to progress, learning how to drive. Really, I've had front wheel drive, I've driven rear wheel drive, but I've never owned anything rear wheel drive. So that would be quite nice, I reckon. Uh, be a big learning curve, though. It's a completely different style of driving. But hey, you guys that know how to drive and know all of this anyway listen to me going on about it so yeah i'm out here today going to that place like i said and there'll be some amazing views on the way like that that's stunning plenty more of that though all the way along so yeah stay tuned and enjoy the video okay so we're basically there um I'm not actually sure what this is used for. Probably just an observation post or something. Um, it's pretty cool though. Absolutely no one here. Good. Did not want anyone here. Especially not because of how far I have to leave the bike. Alright, it's a little horse. And off. Turn the fuel off before I forget. <laughs> you watch, I'll forget to turn it on now. <sighs> so yeah, this is it. Rainhead Coast Watch. Um, it's basically down there a little bit, um, up the top onto the little thing up there. So I'm going to take the camera out of my helmet, leave all my stuff here, and walk up okay so it's probably really windy and you can't hear me bike is right up there well, the building is. some people walking past it as well so go all the way down the field down there up to these steps having that as your view. It's probably about a mile. Fuck. Maybe.
Um, these two things here, guessing it was some kind of gun emplacement in the war. It's hell of an advantage point. But just look at the view. It's incredible. Once again, I don't know how much a GoPro is going to pick up. Place is some weird scratch marks. It's a little bit creepy. View's just unreal. Some kind of boat out there. get over how hot it is as well like it is actually warm Look, I'll get my phone out now see how hot it actually is oh that's John it is oh don't want to look at that how do I even oh, weather 20 degrees England that's unreal 20 degrees you don't get that here. Don't know where you're watching this from, but you just don't. So when you do, you make the most of it. It's my nice hourly exercise, people. Okay, so we're back on the bike. That is a pretty amazing view. That's where we were over there. There's a little church thing or whatever it was. Um, yeah that's one hell of a view like a beach as far as you can see power wonder if it key bangs do a little burnout on the grass uh, so yeah um back on the bike headed back now just gonna cruise take it easy uh, I've never gone down there no nah, we're not gonna go down there it's completely in the wrong direction if it's going towards the way I need to go I would have done it but I wonder what's down there oh no we're not going down there So yeah, just going to take it easy now, heading back. Uh, it's so warm, it's unbelievable. Uh, I guess it just goes to their house, a little drive thing. It'd be cool if it went right down to the beach. But yeah, no, like as far as you can see, it's just blue sky, beach. But it's, I don't know, where else can you go that you can see that? It's unreal. As I say that as I'm selling my car. Okay, 
so um, nearly home what is it with those like rainbow um, hedgehogs I've seen like six today everywhere like in all different villages there's like these little rainbow hedgehogs um, so yeah I'm nearly home uh, that's going to be my video for today going to that little thing and then riding there and back or whatever um, so I hope you enjoyed, hope there's a little bit of amusement for you guys while you're bored off your nuts at home fucking doing nothing uh, leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more content thanks for watching